The Parliamentary Committee on Labour wants victims of sexual harassment at Ekatera and James Finlay Kenya Tea Farms to come out and record statements to aid investigations into the alleged sexual harassment perpetrated on workers. Well, this follows an expose done by the British Broadcasting Company, or the BBC, two weeks ago that revealed how casual labourers are suffering at the hands of their bosses. Marianne Nyambura reports. Days after an investigative piece done by BBC dubbed Sex for Work, the true cost of our tea, an AFTA syndicate of line managers working at James Finlay's Tea Company and Ekatera, formerly Unilever, preying on workers and harassing them sexually for jobs at the farms. The Parliamentary Committee on Labour has for the last two days visited the Kiricho-based tea farms on a fact-finding mission. The committee, led by Runyanje's Member of Parliament, Eric Muchangi, disclosed that victims of sexual harassment who narrated their ordeal to the BBC crew were yet to record statements on the alleged involvement of their managers. On the issue of victimization, we believe that the reasons as to why majority of the women, actually almost all the women do not want to come out and speak into these issues. It is because they fear that they will lose their jobs. Actually, uh, their representatives have made it very clear that any moment you are a uh, brought before the tribunal, chances are that 99% you are going home, you are on your way home. So it is for that reason that no woman is interested in, in getting the matter known by the senior management. The committee that interacted with victims of sexual harassment and management of the James Finlay and Ekatera companies in a series of closed door meetings recommended both short-term and long-term intervention measures that will see the vice come to an end. First, low-hanging fruit. Can we have women as supervisors so that we can already, as we are investigating the other ones, we can now stop the, 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 the SGBV. But I will also say the second thing is the welfare committees are there, but they, 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 the reporting structure of the safeguarding measures they have put they end at one point. You'll find that all the welfare um, managers or the welfare program officers, whatever they call them, their direct line managers are the same perpetrators. The way they, are, uh, they have policies, the policies are there, but they are not followed. And then the reporting is not very clear and it is not also encouraging. The Parliamentary Committee on Labour is expected to table its findings and recommendations to Parliament in the coming weeks. As the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, commences investigations into the alleged cases of sexual assault at the two companies. Mirian Nyambura, Citizen TV.